but the winner tonight goes to Mary Gearan and the 7.30 team at the ABC. Thank you very much. That's fantastic. Thank you to the judges and the Sports Commission and congratulations to the other finalists. They're just, they were all terrific stories. Um, uh, clearly, i accepting this on part of the team because you, with TV you can't not have a team and this was uh, no exception, just brilliant people that I work with, just some of the best people in the business. Uh, and I absolutely must thank, not just because of what Peter said, but I must thank uh, one bloke in particular tonight, a uh, bloke who's a journalist and keeps me on my toes and raises our kids and builds our house and looks damn fine in that dinner suit over there as well. So here we, he should have his own reward. Um, <laughs> and, and he shall. <laughs> um, and I can organise a bike if you like. Uh, <laughs> um, and look, clearly this award is because of the power of David Butterfant and his family, the strength. Uh, it didn't come out in that, if you haven't seen it or, or know of his story. He lost his son to suicide and it was the heart of uh, the relationships that he gathered around him at the club that was clearly the power of this story. And um, if anyone got any comfort out of the story that was in that position, um, then obviously it was all worth it even though, unfortunately, I believe it gave people better feelings about Collingwood just before the grand final, and that was not intentional. <laughs> um, and, and just finally, just um, thinking about excellence in sports journalism tonight, if I could just go off a uh, message just for a second. Um, I just wanted to mention one of the best sports journalists Australia's ever had. Sorry. Paul Lockyer, who, was, um, who died not long ago, and I had... Um, oh. He'd say harden up, get some concrete. Um, uh, he died in that helicopter crash. He, I worked with him at the Athens Olympics and long, long ago at Sports Sunday, HL9, and um, he would have won you know, lots and lots of awards. He should have been in London next year. He would have done just an inimitable job. And uh, he died alongside people who won heaps of awards too. And John Bean, just a fantastic bloke. I never had the uh, pleasure of working with uh, Gary Ticehurst, but again, he gave those awesome sporting images from uh, the Sydney to Hobart. And um, just a reminder that they did win a heap of awards, but they were also just, they were remembered for being top blokes, just helping all of their colleagues. And that's what they were really remembered for. So should have a drink to them tonight. Thanks. <laughs>